this is Jennifer with Gentle Soaps and today we're going to use our uh, methyl cellulose thickener finally uh, if you want a thick product I'm going to show you how it's not too hard um, but it's kind of like making bath bombs once you got it you got it but you're going to have to play with your um, formula because it's going to be different than mine it's not going to be the same um, but it'll give you an idea of where to start okay so we're, we're starting out let's get started uh, we're going to start out with a uh, three to one um, dilution and i'm just going to make a small bottle i'm just going to make a little bottle like this one right here um, and so we're just going to measure out approximately uh, 1.5 ounces. I think that's a three ounce bottle. Might only be two ounces. I don't know, but we'll see. We can always have some leftovers. So we're going to go 1.5. And then I've got some distilled water here. Measure it up to three. All right, and we're going to add our uh, preservative. Hold on. For this amount, I'm using approximately one mil. And let me show you the thickener I'm using. Just under a mil, actually. One mil would be a little too much. But you know, these are my kids, my customers, and I want everybody to be safe. All right. Because water introduces a medium for bacteria to grow and we don't want the bacteria to grow. Some people don't like parathens. Um, I'm going to be playing with some other um, preservatives later in the year when they arrive. I've just ordered them. Um, so even once I've gotten them, the whether or not they work as well as the parabens, I don't know, but I've been using parabens for uh, 20 years now and I like them for my lotions and I'm liking them for my, for my um, my liquid soap so far. Um, so we've got our base now. All right. Now I've chosen again another Nature's Garden scent, Honey Vanilla Love Dust. For it. it's a holiday scent, and we're going to add just a few drops. And you see how it's floating on top? I don't like that, so I'm going to add a little more. Um, polysorbate to emulsify that a bit. It acts as an emulsifier. I'm sure there will be people who disagree with me, but that's what it does in all my bath bombs. And that's what it does in my shampoos too. So we have thinned it down. Now what we're going to do, instead of using the crow fix, which makes like that weird funky stuff, I've still got them here. Um, this one is really, really thick show you it's a squeezable <laughs> this is the best might you see how it's really 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 thick this is not 24 hours later okay now here's the half as much so if you like that there you go it's probably better probably dilute the other one down a little more this one is Kind of funky, maybe it's a different product. It could make a really thick product. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so we're not going to play with that one anymore. But that was just to give you a contrast of, you know, what commercial thickeners are available and what they look like. So um, this was one teaspoon per cup to get that really super duper thick. Had a one to six dilution like this is right here, and this one it does separate, but it's it's kind of a pretty separation. Um, and it's half a teaspoon per cup at a one to six. Um, so you just have to put them on yourself, see if they're stable. All of the preservatives have been added. They're awesome. Um, now this is methyl cellulose in glycerin. So I have five grams of methyl cellulose and 100 grams of glycerin. I'm going to have to give this a little bit of a, of a mix. So hold on. I'll be right back. All right, so this is methyl cellulose and how it comes to you. And it's a funky powder. Hold on, I'll grab some out of another container. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of a thick, weird powder. And it behaves a lot like gelatin when you add it to water. 
Um, I chose to add it to glycerin just to make it nice for my um, handmade products. Um, but you can dilute it however the manufacturers say to do it. I used, like I said, five grams of methyl cellulose and 100 grams of glycerin. And we're gonna add um, a teaspoon to this. Oh, I got some colorant. And my teaspoon, hold on. Now you dissolve it um, overnight. You mix it up with your little, little stick blender. If you've got a little um, tiny immersion type blender, um, hand foamer, I don't know, I guess it's a, a latte um, device for coffee, but it's a really great soap making tool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a teaspoon and we're gonna add it to this little bit here. Um, if you put the liquid, the powder on top, it would just sit on the top. It really wouldn't do anything. I'm just going to control my whisk a little bit. And we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. While we're waiting, I thought, while we're waiting, I thought we would uh, take a little bit of this methyl cellulose and add some water so I can show you what happens when you add water to it. All right. So it turns into just this thin. And then when you come back a little later, it looks like jello. So it'll actually thicken up just even water. That's why I like the glycerin. It doesn't seem to do much to the glycerin. It seems to just keep it suspended, and then it actually still does deliver what we're looking for. This is more like that Dr. Bronner's um, thickness that we're looking at right now. So we're going to add another half a teaspoon. We'll leave it another 10 minutes. Hold on. All right, so now we have like a dip dish, dish soap kind of thickness. Um, you're just going to have to play with the thickeners. Decide which one you like the best. Um, if you want super, super thick, go with the Crow Thicks. Um, if you just want to give it a little more body, uh, go with the methyl cellulose, is my opinion. If you just would rather not even be bothered with them, then get containers in which you can deliver your products the way they should be used without any waste. And that would be my recommendation. So until next time, so until next time, um, this is Jennifer from Gentle Soaps and uh, hopefully I've given you something to think about. So as a recap, you can not dilute at all and just use your, your paste as a product. You can do a three to one dilution and then fill it to there and to the top for a hand and body wash from a foam dispenser. And you can do a three to one dilution for shampoo and maybe a smaller bottle. Or you can play with the thickeners and this is Crow Thicks, one to six um, with one teaspoon per cup. And this is just the opposite. You get the separation. See how much thicker it is though than the uh, Methyl cellulose is kind of pretty. I kind of like that. I probably will use the Crothix in some of my products just to get that effect. I really kind of like that. Haven't decided. I will definitely be doing this though. These three products will be on my shelves uh, come January 1st. Um, hopefully. Um, yeah, so if you're interested um, in any of my products, please come visit us at www.gentlesoaps.com, which is where my Etsy shop is located. Um, or you can become a patron um, supporter 
um, or you know, just hit like and subscribe and follow me and that helps too. So thanks so much and good luck with all your soaping endeavors. Uh, make you make lots of liquid soap because it's super fun. Bye for now.